Hey everybody, welcome back to Chernobylite. Uh, so I've learned a couple things. Number one, uh, well, I learned why this is red. Maybe I missed it. That's possible. But uh, I believe I need to use the anti-rads to clear that up, and then I can get a full health bar going. Yep, yeah, there we there we go. I like that. I like that. Um, I should consider whipping up some ceramic plates. I'm carrying around seven metal plates that aren't going to benefit me with this armor. So I could break I could break those down as well. That's an option. But I'm gonna go ahead and just store them for the time being. And then I'm gonna look to make some ceramic plates at the other correct machine. Wherever that is. Um, what do we need here? Oh, we're this is plenty. Let's whip up a few of these to take with us. You can see now this is like auto building all the way back up. So, good stuff. Now, I did know that these were being used for that. I didn't know that this would just refill like it is. So, I'm curious. This must mean that we have... Yeah, they automatically get used from the inventory. Sweet. Okay, so let's build some for extras. Now, I don't know how to fully get the, the armor bar all the way up. I wonder if that's like, if this is minus damaged or something somehow. See how we have three left? I'm not sure what would contribute to that. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, I have four skill points available. I got four. Health bar increased by three. Six more inventory slots. Assault rifle dealing damage. Wouldn't be bad, but... Hmm. Kind of a tough... Kind of a tough call. I mean, I could just grab a stealth upgrade real quick. I think I might do that. Where is Olivier? I would probably have to do it tomorrow. Alright, Igor, what's next? Let's see. Yeah, okay. So after our mission, we'll train with Olivier, and then we'll also probably put ourselves in the killing machine. Igor, hey, got a second? Because we have 12 Chernobylite sticks. Business partner on the radio. What is it? Yeah, he's knee deep in the shit. NAR is after him. But that's to be expected if you keep taking from them and giving them to yourself, huh? I see. That kind of business. Let's not get bogged down with the details. Just check if he's okay, would you? He's hiding somewhere near the Pripyat port. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, okay, let's rock and roll. So, a hermit helped his friend who's crossed any yard and ended up on their hit list. Yeah, fun times. Fun times. Um, what else do we want to do? Ammo stashes, munition drops. Let's go... Hmm. Olga has a 0% chance here. I wonder why that is. 66 or 0. Hmm. Okay, I'll give her... Everyone else is kind of the same. These guys are really low chances. So let's just do this. Let's go 99 for Olivier there. 86 and 66. Okay, let's rock. Mikhail claims that everything is just business, but I know you can tell he's holding back the whole truth, can't you? There's a deep darkness within him, caused by loss and grief. Don't let it suck you in. It's funny, you know, <laughs> it does seem like he overcompensates with his excessive use of sarcasm, swearing, uh, just being like really abrasive as kind of like a, a shield, you know? Takes, takes one to know one. All right. How far are we? Uh, not bad, actually. Not bad. Now, somebody pointed out that on the left side, the those armor numbers were actually the number of uh, plates that we have. And that totally makes sense now. So... Thank you. There's a couple of there was a couple of things that I wasn't sure how how they were going, and now we got them. Let me keep this on shrooms. Uh, 
Oh, okay, okay. I see where we are. Well, let me see if we can get in there. Oh, someone's behind me. Where? Who saw me? I don't like that. Whoa, what? Tanya. Oh, Remember cool. Remember when they used to call this place the dish? They used to come here all the time. And you'd tease me whenever you got the chance. I love you, Igor. You know that. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook. I want you to see you challenge yourself for real this time. No more books. No more equations. No more quantum physics. After you finished your tea, I want you to take my hand and come speed skating with me. You're not going to science your way out of this. <laughs> and don't worry, my love. Even though I was the ice skating champion in Muramansk, I'll take it easy on you. It's been a while since we had, like, a little flashback like that. Five skill points. Very nice. Let me see if I can just get into the bush here. Something's out here. Ah, there. Oh, there's two. And they're crossing paths. Exceptional. Exceptional. And I'm melting in radiation, which is also good. Okay, this might be a bit of a challenge here. We'll see how far this guy comes up. Not far enough. I'm going. And sleep. And slowly dying in the radiation. Which is great. I do need to get his stuff. Now, as far as I know, I don't really have... Okay, I gotta, I gotta see if I can take this guy. Because he sees the body now. I don't know if I have a way of dealing with radiation besides just, like, sucking it up. Everyone, eyes open. No! Oh my god. Whoa. I'm, like, stunned out here. Yeah, oh shit is right. I'm getting demolished. Okay, that was not the play. That was not the play. First aid me. Can I not do this? Okay. <laughs> oh, because it wasn't take. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. My bad. It was just taken from our armor. It didn't take from our health yet. I was panicking. So I guess when they're alerted like that, maybe I can't take them down? Oh boy. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, a full ceramic tactical armor. Don't mind if I do. Now, there was another guy, too. Oh. This is going to be a delicate dance. Where is he? A 
Are there two? Yup. <laughs> Enemy in sight. I repeat. Oh, Enemy in sight. my God. <laughs> I was going to try and headshot one and then stealth the other one in like one thing. Okay, that was that's it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been great. Let's see you, gentlemen. I don't need any part of that. Okay, let's take one of these bad boys. And then we can fill that up when we're ready. My psyche's a bit messed up. As expected, we're crawling with soldiers here. You gonna pee on the truck? Not anymore. Target acquired. And sleep. Chernobylite stick. It's always nice. Okay. To the hermit. I imagine his location is going to have even more of these guys. a Chernobylite uh, burnout thing in that building that I would happily take. Oh, jeez. Who's there? Don't shoot. Relax. Mikhail sent me. Are you his business associate? His what? Ah, oh, yes. Sure. <laughs> sure thing. I've been shot. I need help. Mikhail, I found your friend. NAR did a number on him. It doesn't look good. I don't know if this is... Help the man! I need him! He's got connections. Besides, he doesn't deserve to die like that. Like a dog. Um... He can take the first Let me patch you up. Thank you. I don't have anything on me. Mikhail finally I likes something. When I ran, but I've got some intel you can have. I'm looking for someone. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. She, uh... She plays a violin, right? Yes. Sibelius. Yes. My God, that's her favorite composer. You... You know her? I can still hear the music. Beautiful. Inspired. Sibelius is not for everyone. Weeks ago, I started having the dreams. Only the music at first. Then I saw her. She didn't say anything, but I understood. She communicated with me through the music. 
My wife Katya used to play the violin, you see. That was our connection. What okay. did she communicate? Oh, uh, I wrote it down someplace. But it's still in my hideout. Probably swarming with NAR goons. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to check your hideout. This is very important to me. You'll be fine. I promise. Yeah, as long as you don't get shot when you leave this area, you'll be totally fine. Anything down here? Two sticks, all right. Hey, we have a recycler on site. I don't think we've seen something like that before. I'll probably give this to one of my guys. Maybe we'll give it to Olga. We could do that. Um, We can recycle one of these. Honestly, I think that's fine. I want to say when we went into the, the last um, Chernobylite burner thing that we we saw one of the the shadows in there. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Not that you'll need it. Like I said, everything's going to be totally fine. Where is this? Oh, it scared the hell out of me. Are they seeing me from up top, perhaps? I guess so? I think I'm gonna go in here. See if I can't figure out what these things are. What is that like shimmer sound that we hear? Hello. Oh, what is that beside me? Okay, this we've seen. Uh-oh. There we go, baby. Okay. So that was the list that we saw previously. I do wish that they would be uh, removed once we've seen them. Just because... What the... <laughs> Just because once you uh, go to a bunch of these areas, it's really hard to discern what you've seen and what you haven't. What's that smell? I need to wait for that guy to walk back. He's way too close. feel bad because it's about to get way shittier. Oh no. You've fallen into the ground. This guy's going to turn, isn't he? Sorry, man. I had to do it. That proves that my, my previous plan may have worked, though. 
with like with the headshot. Oh no! <laughs> okay, sorry man, you're gone. My previous plan may have worked. I don't know like how quick they react, but if I could have headshotted and then taken the other guy down stealth in one swoop. Yeah, this looks this looks good. This looks good. Is this growing? Okay, so it's upstairs. Oh, not this guy. You know this expression, Igor. You are like a foolish child wandering in the dark. You think you're getting closer, but the dark water is rushing in. Soon it will be over your head. You should have stayed away. You cannot ruin everything now. I won't allow it. So, want to show me what you're made uh, of? I don't know if I now can. Now run. I will hurt you if I have to. I'm giving you a 10 second head start. Uh... Well, why did you have to come back? This is not going to let see what you're made. This is not going to end well for you. Yeah, I am getting that why impression. Did you have to come back. Ooh, he actually did a decent chunk of damage there. Let's see what you're made of. Not bad, not great. Okay, it seems like I need to be going up more, but I think maybe through here. I might be able to kill Why this guy. Whoa! If I hit him. I think I did hit him. Not bad. We're gonna get him. Let's see what you're made of is right. This is not going to end well. Come on, big boy. Let's see what your full surprise is. Oh, ho, ho. it's not over yet. Can I chase him? Whoa. What the? That was weird. Yeah, see, this was blocked. I need to go up still. Okay, so he is defeatable. I was kind of under the impression that he might just be either like a run or die kind of scenario, but. I still need to continue up, but how? Finally, we're on the right floor.
Boom. People exposed to Chernobylite are able to communicate with each other. That's why people can see Tatiana. That's why I can see her too. Okay. So this is the guy's notes. I saw her again in my dreams. Red dress, beautiful music. Sometimes I think she's starting to go crazy from all this. Or I'm starting to go crazy from all this loneliness, my dear Katya. Uh, a few days later, sometimes I think that it's the Blessed Virgin Mary who came to take me by the hand and lead me to you and our child. Uh, but then again, no apostle ever mentioned that the mother of our savior could play Allegro Madereto by Sibelius in such a skillful way. Only you could. Made my new life here on the radioactive ruins among bandits, smugglers, monsters, and corrupted souls. I don't really know why. Perhaps I was trying to find peace, or perhaps I was trying to punish myself for not being able to protect you, Katya. You and our baby. She visited me again. This time her music was angry, furious. It felt like the gates of hell had opened and all the demons had broken free. People always imagine hell is fiery and dark, full of red and black, but it's green. Can you believe that, Katyusha? This never happened before. The woman in the red dress, she didn't play her violin this time. She just stood in among the stood there among the ruins and looked at me with a terrible sadness. I tried talking to her, asking her over and over what she wanted, but she didn't reply. And then the woman in the red dress opened her mouth for the first time. When she spoke, it was a quiet, soft, and tender. Or it was quiet, soft, and tender, but at the same time, so terribly sad, like a goodbye. She whispered, leave this place. I'm lying in the cold ground. You will never find me. Now, did she say something similar to us at one point? I seem to remember her telling us, like, essentially to leave her alone. In certain scenarios, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll try to find whatever this is. It's down a floor. At least a floor. More? No, oh, we're blocked. We gotta take the holes. Apparently it's on this floor. Just a random clue here? How do we not this see this? This Omega unit seems to be a special unit designed to protect the power plant. What in the hell are the NAR hiding there? Omega unit. Vladimir Ilyich. Okay, so that's two clues, which is pretty massive. And you know what? I might as well try and check this one, if I can. boy. Again, I'm okay now if these guys come out. I want to farm them. Realizing the shrooms that they drop is pretty huge. We have tons of fuel. So I don't get all the stuff inside, that's okay. Oh, the frickin' dolls again? Great. Whoa. Whoa, no, I don't like that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I'll take this. Thanks, dolls. Maybe they're good. <laughs> Thank you. 
That is new. We've never seen that before. Yeah, we're out of here. He's alive. Wounded, but he's gonna make it. Oh, that's a relief. He has access to different goods and a lot of useful contacts. Looking out for your fellow man, eh, McHill? Fuck you, Mr. Righteous. Maybe this is some kind of romantic adventure for you, but some people have to make a living here. <laughs> can see his point. Okay, so Psyche's good, health could be better. Olivier was successful. Some ammo. Mikhail successful. Some ammo, plates, and gas. Olga successful as well. Plates and ammo. Sweet. Okay. Uh, normal food for everyone. Good job. Good job. Okay, I want to check my clues. And I want to give Olga... Oh, we wanted to do training with Olivier. Here? Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your... <laughs> but I'll be... Perfect. Let's do it. Follow me. Teach me the ways of stealth. I'm going to share some techniques I learned in Joint Task Force 2. Oh, yes, the During GTF. During a mission, it's usually better to sneak in and out rather than gun down every opponent. That's what I'm going to teach you today. Stealth. Let's start with some basics. Try to sneak past me using available cover. Remember to stay low. Keep quiet and move quickly whenever you're out in the open. Be like a ghost. You got it. We've had a decent enough practice. With Ready? This. Go. I'd love if this was just the training, us just hiding behind this one box. Does he have a place that he wants me to... I guess I just need to get to... Over here. Whoa. Oh, that could be bad. Should I try taking him down? Gotcha. <laughs> That's funny. Well done, Igor. You're a natural. Yes, well, with your training, I'm About it. even better. Turn yourself into a dangerous bastard so you can protect others. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now I'm going to hold the others, I think. The other skill points. Health bar, I guess, could be okay. Inventory is decent. They're all good. Um, how's base? I think base should be neutral. Yep, it is. So, let's check. Let's check this case. Oh, Black Stalker has a specific thing now. Okay, so this is probably the Black Stalker then. Vladimir Ilvich, right? Black Stalker must be involved in guarding NER's research and scientific personnel. Web of Lies, three on three. We need two more clues for this. Um, but it says the simulation is ready. So I wonder how that works. I guess if we have maybe the facts or what's absolutely necessary, so we could probably run that simulation. Tell you what, um, we'll take a break here. When we come back, we're going to run the simulation. I'll probably go uh, off ourselves in here, or maybe I'll do that first. 
And then we have all those Chernobylite sticks. I think I have, what, 16 now? Which is kind of crazy. So, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.